Guys, what's up? It is Doug and it's another year, another August, another late August, and that means another Yankee Candle Halloween preview event video recap. Whew, that's a long title. Uh, yes, yeah, so today, as I'm filming this actually, I just got back from Yankee Candle and their Halloween preview. I actually have not been in a Yankee Candle in a very long time, and not that I can really remember uh, since last Halloween, actually. I'll talk a little bit about that. You know, I. I had that video last year on this channel, as I always do. I love attending the Yankee Candle Halloween preview events. Whether I like what's there or don't really like what's there, it's still fun and it's festive, especially this year. Boy, did I need it, uh, you know, with everything that's going on. But thing is, because I was pretty disappointed with how the candles worked last year, well, trick or treat last year, I thought was horrible. Fragrance, fragrance wise, I did not like that whatsoever, uh, especially burning it. When I burned it, it turned into like a ginger molasses, which is absolutely nothing. Halloween. I did like Haunted Hayride, even though it was incredibly, incredibly light and it was really frustrating. And that's when I was like, okay, I, I don't need to buy these candles anymore. This year I was planning to buy uh, melt cups in the scents, but actually my store had no melt cups and no votives of the scents. They had ones that you would think look like in the display, but it was like honey clementine or other ones that look similar to it. It's bizarre. And um, there were also some cauldron candles that were supposedly, well, not supposedly, they were online, some cauldron candles that looked really cool. Those were not in my store whatsoever. So I wound up getting both jars. And because uh, they were 50% off, whatever, I, I've got most of the Yankee Candle Halloween releases over the years, so these two add to it. I'm gonna tell you, uh, I'm not doing a post burn review on any of these. I am going to assume these candles do not work. And I would say probably uh, for you out there, you maybe wanna assume that as well. Or, you know, play paper, rock, scissors, let's play that. It gives you a 33% chance they'll work. That's kinda, kinda how Yankees are. So I was excited to get the melt cups because of that reason, but because they didn't have them or any other way to get them, I got the candles. So while this haul is gonna be pretty small, um, because I just I, I don't have the budget this year to spend on uh, you know accessories and everything I've got so much Halloween stuff that especially with all my Halloween village, you know pieces And I have a bunch of Yankee candle accessories as well from over the years. I didn't buy anything really Except for this I got sucked into this. I could not resist this pumpkin aluminum lid uh, I have a bunch of like spooky aluminum lids, but I don't have anything really like this and I figure you know this is it, it'll be good functionally an aluminum lid really helps here to get these you know the, the Yankees to burn this one has, um, I mean, a little bit of a wider opening sometimes than I, I typically like for the functional ones, but still, it looks like it'll hold heat and it'll work pretty well for that. So they sucker me into it, but that's really the only accessory I have. I have to say though, that my opinion of the accessories this year, actually, I thought they were pretty good. Um, they had uh, more of the Halloween friends, which I, I do love that theme. And they kind of went all in on that again this year. Had some of the things come back with the tea light holder that I had last year, the tree. They only had a couple of those at each store last year, and I know those sold out really quick, so I, I understand why they would bring that back. It's a cool piece. Uh, Bony Bunch was like Bony Bunch Asylum. I don't really do Bony Bunch, but I thought it was okay. I loved the candy corn. You can see I flashed it up here, though, this, this candy corn hurricane. I didn't get it because, again, I was not going to buy that stuff. I'm already, you know, I figured I'm just going to get the milk cups this year, but because I bought the candles, I already kind of went over budget in there. Uh, yes, I went very, very light this year, but this candy corn uh, holder here, this is awesome. This looks really cool. It's even glittery, and I like how it has spider webs. That's really well done. I think that um, that one, if you're going to pick up an accessory, that would be the one to get, in my opinion. There's also a really cool ghost one as well. But uh, yeah, I did like the decor. I thought that uh, really ever since Yankee a couple years ago kind of went crazy with that weird like crocodile hand or whatever, they've really kind of course corrected these last two years and been more into the traditional Halloween stuff, which I, I do like. So, all right, uh, not much accessory wise. You know, again, this is all I got <laughs> this year with that. So let's just talk about the candles and the specifically here, the fragrances. That's what I want to talk about. First up guys, we have a jack-o'-lantern. I love these labels. Again, ever since Yankee has started to do these labels, designed with the keyhole in mind, I think that they actually look very good. And um, I, I don't really have a big complaint as to where I think the old one would be better. I mean, it probably would be, especially look at like the uh, the stuff Kringle's teasing with those country candle black bands. That would look amazing, something like this, but whatever. There's no sense, uh, no sense in crying over that because they're never gonna come back. But I think that this one looks really well. So does the other one, actually. These keyhole labels, the Halloween ones, always look really good since they've done that. So big deal though, what does it actually smell like? All right, so I'll, I'll tell you, had I not really liked how this smelled, I probably wouldn't have even bought this because again, I wanted the Melt Cup and the Votive, or Melt Cup or a Votive, they didn't have either of them. So I figure whatever, I'll get the candles then because I do like both of these scents. So spoiler alert, I do like them. 
I was prepared to be let down though. Again, um, I didn't think this one would smell bad, but after Trick or Treat last year, which was abysmal, I don't know what they were thinking. Uh, I thought they'd have a basic pumpkin candle, which is okay, but I have plenty of those and I didn't need them. This is pretty nice though. And yes, it's nice to have the cool label and this, this dark orange wax, which um, I, I really think this does look well together. And of course I collect a lot of the Yankee candle, Halloween candles, so just the looks alone, it's like, okay, I could add it. But I have to say, uh, it is a nice pumpkin scent. Yes, there is pumpkin spice in here, but I don't think this is necessarily what I would call a pumpkin spice candle, or at least it's not as basic as that. Difference here is there's a, like a pumpkin, guts isn't the right word, because it's not like necessarily authentic pumpkin but it's a very rich pumpkin. It's not like just a very light, it's not like literally pumpkin spice. I think there's a little bit more to it. And there's a definite fruitiness here to it. Some kind of a, well, there's a little bit of apple. I think there's a little bit of apple in it, but that richness is almost like a tad smoky. Like it has, um, oh, what was the candle last year that I really enjoyed? The, um, the Tonka bean candle, it was the three wick Yankee and um, that was part of the Elevation Collection. This has some vibes from that, which is pretty nice. There's definitely like a cinnamon top to it. You get a little bit of that hint of a cinnamon broom. There's several things in here that makes it very autumnal. Does it blow me away? No, but I think it's more than a basic pumpkin scent, which I applaud them for that because I, I figured last, after last year, I figured they'd just they'd come right back and just do like a basic pumpkin spice, but there's more to it than that. It's a little bit fruity. Uh, definitely deep pumpkin, like a, a very rich pumpkin spice. Not totally bakery, it's just a rich deep pumpkin spice. And uh, I swear there's almost like a, a tonka bean or something in here um, that reminds me of the Elevation Candle from last year, which is like a hint of smokiness, a hint of vanilla. It's pretty nice, it's pretty nice. This one uh, could have been trick or treat. This is actually more so what I think of trick or treat because it's got a bunch of different like autumnal things going on in it to where that makes more sense than last year. So if you're afraid of last year's uh, trick or treat candle, uh, afraid of this because of last year's candle, I wouldn't be, I would recommend checking this one out. It's a, it's a nice pumpkin candle, it's it definitely, and I, I love the label. So if you love the, you know, if you collect the Yankee stuff, this, this label's really, really nice. I, I, I like this scent. Nothing earth shattering, but uh, it's, it's solid. All right, now here's the one that's much more interesting to talk about, and I think that this is the one that most people were very interested in to see what it would be. This is Mystic Moon from Yankee Candle. Another one of the new Halloween scents, of course, that uh, this year, I guess I didn't even mention it, but in case you don't know, they had Haunted Hayride come back, and they also had uh, Witch's Brew, which they always have Witch's Brew, and then they had uh, this one here and then Jack Lantern. So they had four as their lineup this year, and they also had the Tri Candle from last year, which was um, several things in it. I talked about it last year in mine. I don't know if that was stock from last year that they had left over or what the deal, but um, they did have the uh, the Tri Lair come back, which, which looks pretty cool. So, all right, Mystic Moon, what is this? I have to say, I am impressed by this. Not blown away either, but I think it's a solid Halloween conceptual candle. I expected the worst with this. Frankly, I expected perfume or cologne nonsense because this design here, thats it seems like that's what Yankee does. And I even saw the notes online whenever they were released. And um, Brett Philly Candleman, Shane the Candle Enthusiast, I know they got a hold of some earlier. They had trouble even describing it. And I guess I just figured because that's what they do, that uh, Yankee, not 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 Brett or Shane. I mean that Yankee. What Yankee does is when they have these kind of these moon type scents, they're always perfume or they're always cologne. This one is pretty interesting though in what it does. Hmm. So this is again, it's a Halloween conceptual conceptual style scent, which I applaud Yankee for. I think that when they do those, I, I really appreciate when they go for it. I don't know what people are going to really think of this. It's a little bit fruity. It has maybe a hint, I mean a hint of that cologne stuff, but I don't think it's really a cologne candle. It's got patchouli in it, some earthiness, and a little bit of a, like a flower vibe. Almost like fruity crushed flowers with some earthiness to it. It is kind of spooky. This one, uh, assuming it throws, which of course that's a crapshoot, I'd really be interested to see how this smells when you put flame to it because there is a lot going on here. So this one here, when you think of some of the more spooky candles Yankees done in the past, like their Haunted Hollows, 
which was great. It's funny. Haunted Hollow is like a, a song that didn't get the appreciation when it first released, but then years after the fact, it's you know it's become kind of a classic. That's where Haunted Hollow's at. I don't think this one's going to rise to that necessarily, but um, this one is very hard to pin down though what it is. It's uh, it's not super spooky, I think, and I'm, I'm totally making this up here because I have no clue, but I, I'm guessing what they did when they were trying to put this together was thinking, okay, can we do something that's kind of spooky, but that's not super hardcore that'll alienate a bunch of people because I think it smells pleasant, but it has a little bit of spookiness in it. There's definite patchouli, like earthiness in it, which is great. And I swear, maybe like a hint of a smoked something. But there's also, it's almost like got a little bit of wood in it, but there's also a fruity top on it, a definite fruity top. And I swear there's some kind of like a floral note here, which is almost like a green. I'd call it a hodgepodge, but I don't really think that's fair. And uh, I have no problem being hard on Yankee candles I, or any Halloween scent because it has to impress me really anymore. Um, otherwise it's not worth the money, but I did buy this one. I thought it was, I thought it was a good scent. It's very hard to pin down though without burning what it is, but it's kind of spooky, but it's also kind of inviting. I don't think this is a cologne perfume candle. There's maybe a little bit of that here, but that's really not what I think of with this. I, you know, I applaud Yankee for trying this and same with the jack o -lantern. They try to do a little bit more than a basic pumpkin. Good on them, it, it, you know, they, they tried. And um, I think this one is all right. I am looking forward to burning both of them, but especially this one, because there is something going on here that is a little bit spooky. It's not super scary. It's not super great. But um, I do like the scent and I like what they tried here. I'm surprised because I really thought I was not going to like this one and I do think it's all right. I didn't even bring up the wax of the label, the Mystic Moon thing here. Fantastic label. I love the label on this and it's, it looks black here, but it's actually a very, very deep blue. That surprised me with how that deep blue looked. I, I thought it looked great. So anyways, guys, yeah, that is my Yankee Candle Halloween experience this year. I didn't get very much. Again, I wouldn't have even bought these two jars. Uh, probably if the melt cups were there just because I wanted to try and sample the scents on a budget this year. I'm kind of not into the whole collecting thing anymore like I used to be. Um, I try and just burn everything. I'm going to burn these. I am going to burn them again. No, I'm not going to do post burn reviews on these. That's just not really that interesting to discuss anymore, especially with Yankees. You just kind of figure they're probably not going to work. But let me know below here. What did you guys think of Yankee this year? Uh, their, their Halloween party, Halloween release. Did you guys get what you want? What do you guys think of the theme? And, and most importantly, what do you think of these scents here? Um, they're interesting. Again, the jack-o'-lantern is a pumpkin. I don't think it's totally a basic pumpkin. Uh, there's a little bit more there. It's not super impressive. This one here, kind of the same to where it's impressive, not super impressive, but I do like how they try to do something spooky, something conceptual. All right, guys, that'll do it for me. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you all have a very happy Halloween and a very happy fall.